Of all of our Legally Brown contestants, Allison Janney may have faced the biggest challenge as our only female contender. It's hard being the only woman, you know, living with all these guys. It's a freaking boys club in there. While the other contestants helped each other prepare for the weekly challenges, Allison was left to make do on her own. And then I just leave, or do I, do I dance? Because I can't. The others denied giving Allison the cold shoulder, though some voiced confusion over her inclusion in the field. If it's a guy, I feel like there's probably a lot of guys that could probably play it before Allison, Jenny. Allison, she's killing me. In this never before seen footage, Heights choreographer Andy Blankenbuehler helps Allison when prepare for her initial step, performance in front of the judges. Okay, okay, do that again? Yeah. Whip off! Okay. Whip off! That's it. I just got it. Whip off! That feels good. Unwilling to let sexism sink her campaign, Thanks, Allison employed a new slogan to put her back at the top of the pack. Allison Janney is outside the box. Her stellar performances began to register with the judges. In the Heights is selling at around 10%. And if we got a name like Allison Janney, then you know they, we could cover overhead costs. So I, that would help. Going in, I had my doubts. Obviously, she's not how I envisioned that character but she really surprised me with her performance. I never had any doubts. I mean, she can do anything. We were gonna sell so many tickets. But something less pleasant also registered with the judges. The bad thing is, do you see how they weren't even supporting her up there, the guys? Yeah. They were so not into her. The tension only mounted the very next day, as Eliseo and Allison were partnered to review cart dynamics. What's your, what is your name? Eliseo. What is that? Is that like Alex or is that just Eliseo? No. Eliseo. It's Eliseo. Okay, Eliseo. I don't know why they want Americana Gucci's aquí adentro. Why do they need Jill? What's her name? Come on. Alison Janney or someone. Her. Is it you only have one cup and you just. Yeah. yeah. Una, one cup. You Una know, cup. And, you know, just gonna throw some ice in there. The guy the, who plays the part has just not been very helpful at all. Eliseo. Eliseo. I can't say his name. I'm sorry. And what do you say to the children when they come up? Do you say. In Spanish, what do you say to the kids? Uh, we don't have children. Okay, what do you say to the adults? We say, piragua. 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 Why do they need her in the show when they have this? So how do you say that in Spanish? Una peseta. Una peseta. Um, is it the director? Una, una placenta? Uh-uh, placenta no. Peseta. No, I know what placenta is. Oh, okay. Peseta. 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 Let me watch you doing nothing. Okay, let me start. I'm going to start safe right. See if you're doing it right, okay? See, I'm going to start safe right. Show me what you got. Show me what you have. I'll show you what I have. I'm sorry, but things change, you know? New cast has to come in, so he needs to step aside, and I'm the best person for it. So I'm going to be up there on that stage. Much to Eliseo's dismay, Allison was met with more raves from the judges and kept moving on in the competition. Congratulations. You're still scraping by. Allison's confidence grew. She seemed poised to break the glass piragua ceiling. My first musical I ever did, I played uh, um, Noah Claypool in um, Oliver, The Undertaker's son. I played a man before. I know how to play men. Then, an ugly rumor brought everything crashing down. I heard from a very reliable source that um, she is not actually a woman. That is her, her, her bit, that's her, her shtick to get into this. You know, she's a dude. Allison tried to shrug it off. Cheyenne is like, yeah, he's gorgeous, he's pretty, but there's a hello. Nothing up there. No talent. But all of the dirty politics took its toll, and Allison snapped. I'm sorry. I'm just really close to having a breakdown myself. Back at the house, where camera crews were not present, Allison attacked Cheyenne with an ice scraper and was immediately removed from the competition. An uproar from fans followed, forcing the producers to issue the following statement. The producers of Legally Brown would like to thank the fans for their enthusiasm and support of Allison. While we understand their disappointment at her departure from the show, we have a strict zero tolerance policy in regard to physical altercation between participants. Allison was aware of this prior to the start of filming. We believe in Allison and wish her the best of success in her future outside of Legally Brown.